The Lion King is one of the most popular children's movies of all time, and its characters have become icons on their own right. Some of the characters have been recast in other movies and TV shows, but have never been recreated as real-life humans. And we yet historically love to do things that have never been done before. So in today's video, we have reimagined how the main characters of The Lion King would have looked like as humans. Oh yeah, we did recreate also the famous funny Friends of Simba, the infamous Timon and Pumbaa. On the left side you will see the cartoon version, and on the right side you will see the version recreated by Historically. We're gonna start the video with Scar and Mufasa. Scar was one of the main antagonists in The Lion King. He was a powerful lion who wanted to take over the Pride Lands and rule them with an iron fist. Scar's true intentions were never fully revealed, but it is known that he had a major hatred for Simba, and he wanted to kill him so he could take over the throne. Despite his harsh exterior, Scar was actually a coward who ran away when things got rough. The famous Jeremy Irons voices Scar in The Lion King. Well, as far as brains go, I got the lion's share, but when it comes to brute strength... Mufasa was the king of the Pride Lands and father of Simba. He was a wise and powerful lion who ruled with justice and compassion. Mufasa was loved by his people, and they respected him for his wisdom and courage. He was tragically killed by Scar, who sought to take over the kingdom. Mufasa's death deeply affected Simba, who wanted to avenge his father's death. Mufasa is voiced by James Earl Jones. What am I going to do with him? He'd make a very handsome throw rug. Sazu. Nala is one of the most beloved characters in The Lion King. She is brave, loyal, and seemingly unstoppable. Her backstory is tragic but ultimately inspiring. She is a lioness who was born into slavery and eventually manages to escape with her family. Despite facing many challenges along the way, Nala remains strong and determined to find her place in the world. She's voiced by newcomer and Broadway sensation Jasmine Sappas Jones, who brings a new level intensity and vulnerability to this scar obsessed lioness. Of course they do. Everyone thinks you're dead. Yeah. Scar told us about the stampede. Rafiki is the wise and gentle mandrel who helps Simba to overcome his fears and become a brave lion. Rafiki is always there for Simba, providing encouragement and support during their adventures. Rafiki is often depicted as being very wise and helps to teach children about life's lessons. The voice of Rafiki in The Lion King is of actor Robert Guillaume. What was that? <laughs> The weather, <laughs> very peculiar, don't you think? Yeah, looks like the winds are changing. Ah, uh, change is good. Oh, and the famous Timon. Timon is one of those Disney movies that is loved by all. The story follows Simba, the son of a Lion King, as he tries to learn how to be a good king and save his family from Scar, who wants to take over the kingdom. Along the way, Timon teaches Simba about being brave and being true to yourself. The characters are likable, and the animation is stunning. The voice of Timon in the movie is of Nathan Lane. Whoa, whoa, time out! Let me get this straight. You know her, she knows you, but she wants to eat him. And everybody's okay with this? Pumbaa. He is one of the most popular characters in the Lion King franchise. He is known for his fun-loving attitude and his powerful attacks. Pumbaa is also beloved by fans for his emotional moments in the movie. We all remember the famous Hakuna Matata song sang by Pumbaa and Timon. If you didn't know what Hakuna Matata means, it is no problem or no trouble. And in the end, let us present Simba. In Disney's The Lion King, Simba is the central character and protagonist. As a young cub, he is exiled from his pride by his wicked uncle, Scar, and must find his way back to reclaim the throne. Along the way, he makes new friends and learns valuable lessons about life and responsibility. In the end, Simba defeats Scar and becomes the rightful king of the lions. 
The voice of Simba in the movie is of Matthew Broderick. No, I'm not the king. Maybe I was gonna be, but that was a long time ago. And that's all we had for today. So please feel free to subscribe to our channel as we share content regularly. And we are open to hear any suggestions or critiques that you may have. Have a nice one.